Welcome to the second video where we describe a bunch of video games in one sentence. Let's get started. Welcome to a game that will typically take around 15 hours to complete for normal people, or 1 hour for speedrunners. Introducing the game that will never get a sequel. This game was released 13 years after its last sequel and was somehow worse. Welcome to a better SimCity. This fan base is so committed, DLC was sold 17 years after the release date. This game possibly had the most tragically satisfying ending ever. This game had the most bullshit ending ever. Good fucking luck, learning all the controls. Have fun playing as the most upbeat psychopath in recent memory. You might have the perfect headshot, however aiming for the testicles is almost mandatory. You can now pretend that you're a professional Quake player. This game simulates America if everyone was given huge piles of meth. This game has the same amount of players than there are people living on the moon. You either play this game once and quit after 2 weeks or play it without stopping for 8 years. Introducing a glorified PC benchmark test. Introducing a game that gives you an advantage for not downloading map assets. You either come up against players who end up killing themselves, or who can hit you with a grenade, from anywhere on the map. Every single pro, has played for at least 300 years total, and has a PhD in geometry. When the media want to show how video games are bad, this game is the first place they look. Welcome to getting absolutely fucked up simulator. No matter how good you are, you'll be easily stomped, by a 7 year old Korean kid. Welcome to a learning curve so high, you'll come out of the game 3 years later with a degree. There will either be pilots who crash within 20 seconds, or the ones who get 83 kills, before being damaged for the first time. Judging by the trailers, this game should simply become a movie franchise. Welcome to the game that requires a detailed post-game analysis to understand the ending. Welcome to a game that could have been game of the year with another 3 years in development. The best way to experience this game is to just watch all the cutscenes. Introducing the game that incentivizes not coming first. It takes about an hour before you realize that using a wingsuit is infinitely more fun than anything else. Introducing a main character that never quite fits in wherever he goes in a game where he's expected to fit in everywhere. This concludes another video where we described 30 video games in one sentence. Subscribe for more videos that describe things to varying degrees of accuracy. But until next time, have fun and embrace the bullshit.